with monthly electricity bills continuously increasing, or becoming a burden in this pandemic, and with people becoming more conscious of the effects of some generating sources, many are looking at other options of electricity supply. So what are the options available for end users, and how they can use those options to empower themselves? Hello and welcome in another explainer video of Energy Intel PH. In today's video, we will be exploring the different consumer supply options aside from the distribution utility, and how one can qualify and avail of these options. The introduction and promotion of consumer choice is one of the objectives of the restructuring of the Philippine electric power industry in 2001. Through the laws like the APIRA and the RE law, various programs and mechanisms which promote and enable consumer choice were introduced, including the retail competition and open access, the net metering program for renewable energy, and the green energy option program. One of the most accessible and easiest ways to have another source of electricity supply is through an installation of power generation facilities for the consumer's own use. The most common facilities for such are diesel generators and customer-sided solar. Through the installation of such facilities in the consumer's premises, a portion of the demand requirement of the consumer is supplied through these facilities, and sometimes even the whole. Diesel generators can supply the whole demand requirement of the consumer, however it is expensive to operate because of its fuel requirements, thus it is mainly used as a backup supply only. Meanwhile, customer-sided solar's electricity production is actually cheaper. Since consumers own these systems, the initial cost of the system is well compensated by the savings one can get, throughout the lifetime of the system which can be 25 to 30 years. However, solar energy is intermittent, and operates only during daytime. This limitation of rooftop solar is commonly compensated by an installation of a battery storage, by a diesel genset, by importing supply from the distribution utility, or by a combination of any of these three. In the Philippines, the most common setup is a customer-sided solar partnered with the distribution utility. What happens here is that a portion of your demand requirement is supplied by solar energy at a lower price, while a portion is supplied by the distribution utility at their retail rates. The main advantage of generation facilities for own use is that it helps end users become self-sufficient, it is not limited by any regulatory cap, and it does not pass through the transmission and distribution system which charges fees for its services. Through the RE law, a government program called the Net Metering Program for Renewable Energy was created to promote and encourage end users to put up their own generation facilities for own use. However, unlike generation facilities for own use only, systems under the net metering program are limited to renewable energy facilities and are capped at 100 kilowatts. Through this program, end users are able to receive credits for any excess energy produced and exported to the distribution utility. So, putting up an RE facility will not only lower your electricity bills through own use, but also further incentivize end users by receiving credits. To qualify for the net metering program, the consumer must be a new customer or have a good credit standing in terms of payment of their electricity bills to the distribution utility. Once a qualified consumer requested to avail the program, the DUs shall, without discrimination, enter into net metering agreements, subject to technical and economic considerations. To know more about the net metering program for renewable energy, the ERC issued the amended net metering rules through Resolution Number 6, Series of 2019. For the next option, if the consumer doesn't have extra space, and doesn't want to invest in asset-based systems, but wants renewable energy as their source of electricity, the consumer may opt to participate in the Green Energy Option Program or GOP. GOP is a voluntary policy mechanism that allows electricity end users to source their electricity supply from renewable energy sources through renewable energy suppliers. Any of the following end users can participate in the GOP. First, all end users with monthly average peak demand of 100 kilowatts and above for the past 12 months. Second, new connections who have been in operation for less than 12 months. This can be connections with estimated monthly peak demand of 300 kilowatts or above for the next 12 months. Or, it can be connections with estimated average monthly peak demand of 100 kilowatts to below 300 kilowatts for 12 months, given that it shall have registered a historical monthly peak demand of at least 100 kilowatts for three consecutive months. Lastly, 
all end users with average peak demand below 100 kilowatts may participate in the GOP after the DOE determines the technical requirements and standards are already met. Based on the policy, GOP will only be available at the moment in the Luzon and Visayas areas until such time that the DOE determines the readiness of the Mindanao market, including the commercial operations of the WESM and declaration of retail competition in Mindanao. To know more about GOP, the DOE issued Department Circular DC 2018-07-0019, which promulgated the rules and guidelines governing the establishment of the GOP. For those who are still looking for another supply option, which includes non-RE generation, consumers may choose to participate in the Retail Competition and Open Access, or ARCOA. ARCOA is a policy mechanism, which allows qualified electricity end-users in the Luzon and Visayas grids to voluntarily choose their retail electricity supplier, aside from the distribution utility, regardless whether renewable or conventional energy sources. Unlike the previous programs, in order to participate in the ARCOA, currently, the end-user's average monthly peak demand should be 750 kilowatts or above. Although, the ultimate goal of the ARCOA is to bring this option down to the household demand level. As such, every year, the ERC shall evaluate the performance of the market, and on the basis of such evaluation, it shall gradually reduce the threshold level until it reaches the household demand level. To know more about the ARCOA, you can check the DOE and ERC websites for their corresponding issuances. So, those are some of your electricity supply options as consumers. With the availability of another supply option at the reach of your hand, you just need to grab it and enjoy becoming an empowered citizen. Thank you for watching. See you on our next video. Visit our website and page at Energy Intel PH.